Super, super excited to be here at the Energy Healing Symposium in Boston. Um, really wonderful opportunity for me to, um, to come, come here and, and share. And this particular piece that I'm sharing, um, I've never shared publicly yet. And as you saw in the promotional material, it is really looking at an aspect of our mind that can be like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, right, in the class, classic novel, in that there's this part of our mind that can either be my best friend in the whole wide world, right, my strongest ally, my greatest asset, part of my winning formula, if you will, or it could be my most vicious, insidious enemy. Same aspect, right? How could that be? So depending on how, so that aspect, of course, is the subconscious mind, as you know. And to me, the subconscious mind is the great frontier. It is the relatively unexplored territory. Scientists somewhat stay away from it because you can't find it, right? You can't analyze it. There are those who say the subconscious mind is intelligent, and then there are those who say, how could it be intelligent? It doesn't even exist. So for, based on my experience, I have firm belief that the subconscious mind is intelligent. And it can, again, be my greatest ally or my most insidious saboteur, right? Have, how many of you have had an experience where a voice in your head talked you into doing something that at the time seemed like a really great thing to do, so you did it. And then realized, my God, how could I have been that stupid, right? It was like really, really, really not in my best interest to have done that, right? And sometimes it's sending a text or sending an email or um, choosing to do something, right? So that's the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind doesn't show up as a voice in my head and say, hi, I'm here as your saboteur. No, it shows up as I'm here as your best friend in the whole wide world. I'm here to guide you and make sure you're in the right place at the right time and the right people. And I'm gonna make sure that you're always saying the right things at the right time. And that's not true, right? It is, it is as in the Bible, they describe this aspect as the silvery tongued devil. Right? So I love Marianne Williamson. Are any, any folks Marianne Williamson fans? I love her work. Most of it's based on, or actually all of it is based on A Course in Miracles. And, and A Course in Miracles um, doesn't talk about the subconscious mind, but it does speak about the ego. And from my perspective, the way A Course in Miracles speaks about the ego, I, th I think uh, the, the way they're describing it is because the ego gets into partnership with the subconscious mind when it's expressing this certain way, and that combination is the worst partnership that you could ever possibly imagine when it comes to our own well-being. You know, Marianne always says that you know the when when our uh, self-loathing shows up as our self-loving, um, we can't discern the difference in the voice. It's not like the the voice of the ego sounds like. Jack Nicholson playing the Joker, and the voice of my higher self sounds like, um, you know, a beautiful, beautiful singer, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, right? That, that's not true. They both sound like Tony Bennett, and somehow we're supposed to be able to discern the difference between the two. So what we're going to talk about here today is not only how to identify which is those voices, but really, what is the subconscious mind? Why is the subconscious mind acting the way it is in, for most humans? And then what we can do to transform the subconscious mind from being our worst enemy to our greatest ally and, and keep that relationship.